Hi, I'm Enzen Temos Conforti. I'm with Montclair State University um, in Montclair, New Jersey. Um, I teach Italian um, language courses, both um, elementary level courses and advanced level courses. And um, my amazing story happens in one of my advanced level classes, and it just happened this past spring semester. Um, I had my students use blogs for the first time in this course to um, do daily journaling or weekly journaling actually um, and it was very interesting that um, one of the blogs uh, obtained attention from a family member um, of an Italian immigrant to the US and it basically goes like this um, all the culture items about which my students wrote in the blogs were prompted by the textbook which we were using and the one post that was done early on in the semester, um, I think it was done in about February, was about um, Roger Morigi, who was a sculptor um, who, would, who created some of the gargoyles um, in the Washington, D.C. Um, in Washington, D.C. Um, the student wrote a little bit about who he was and where he came from in Italy and what he achieved here as an immigrant in, um, in the U.S. And in May, um, she received a comment on her blog, and the comment was from the grandniece of Raja Murigi, and uh, the grandniece just happened to be Googling her uh, great uncle, and she found the um, she, she found the blog post that my student wrote, and the student is um, again advanced Italian, but second year um, level. And she commented on how touched she was by the fact that her uh, great uncle was recognized still by students studying Italian and that he was not only um, one of the chief artists for the gargoyles um, in the monument in Washington, but also um, he was a great sculptor per se. And she just filled in a few blanks where my student, um, uh, in my student's blog post. Um, and she also mentioned that she was thrilled by the fact that um, she was able to find something um, in an academic circle so easily on the internet. And she was very pleased um, with what my student had said about her great uncle. And she was very touched. And um, my student was so thrilled with the comment that she immediately forwarded um, the comment to everybody in class um, and she said look what I got this morning look what I got this morning I received this comment from the grandniece of Raja Morigi and she says I think it's her I don't have any reason to suspect it's not her but it's just a wonderful feeling to know that um, my post was read be beyond the classroom and that's about it I hadn't anticipated that um, our blog would be looked at by, other, by people other than those people whom I would invite um, because sometimes if I knew that um, there was somebody who read Italian um, who was a specialist in the area I would invite them to read the blog um, I would send them the link and I would say well if you have time and you have a moment to comment on it I think my students would appreciate getting some feedback from someone other than their classmates and their professor um, so most of the other comments that were made on the blog were um, prompted by me. So this one that came totally out of the blue um, made me very proud. Um, not only was uh, this student um, an excellent student, so I was really glad that hers was one of the blog posts that was commented on. So the Italian was very well written um, and the content of her blog was very good. I think one of the things that I appreciated even more than that was showing the students that you know, here in the U.S., the Italian language keeps dwindling year after year. Um, and by using something like a blog, it shows the students that language is not just limited to geography. Um, it could be read by everybody all over the world at any given time um, under the special circumstances that social networking allows us.